is based on the last time that you were here. You spoke to us about how the devil attacks you very much in terms of making you suffer. And we understand by doctrine that there are punishments, tests that God uses for blessings. And I would like for you to clarify a little more when in these instances where the devil's envy make us suffer with our loved ones, what has been, we know that we must put on God's armor, press on, love God, obey, and to not give up. But what has been your success, I would say, if you can share something with us in regards to how to seize those victories as soon as possible? Right. And also concerning the punishment and the trial that you mentioned, you mentioned that sometimes there are trials or there are punishments well, there is a punishment because we fail God. When we fall in sin, there is a punishment. And then there is a hardship, a tribulation. And then I say, well, God is punishing me because I failed him. But when we consider that we have not failed God and there is tribulation, there is hardship. Well, then I say, well, God is testing me. The Lord is placing these trials, but we must pass those trials. We must be patient and we must remember God's promises so that those moments of difficulty may quickly pass and cause no dents in our life and making us lose heart or feeling sad or feeling disappointed and saying, I don't want to go back to the church. God has made me promises, but look at these evil days I'm facing. So no, we need to remember God's promises and say, yes, this had to happen and I need to continue onward and pass this because I need to continue in this path. And so one of these days in the teachings, there was a verse in the Bible that said, if the righteous with difficulty is saved... There's a verse, and it was, I believe, Peter who said this. It is true. A righteous man with difficulty is saved, meaning a righteous person faces difficulties, trials, persecutions. All sorts of things happen to a righteous person. And those difficulties, all of that, he passes through them. He is victorious because he perseveres in the Lord's path. They are patient. And they withstand all of the trials. They withstand and bear through the moments of difficulty. They pray, they cry out to the Lord, and if need be, they cry and weep before the Lord. But they pass that test. And so then you can say, this person is righteous. They've had difficulties, but they are passing them. They are passing those trials. They continue and persevere. They are continuing onward. So we have to do exactly that because we will always have hardships, difficulties. No one is exempt from it. While we are human beings, we will have difficulties until the day we die. There will be traps from the enemy, envy from the devil of different sorts in one way or another. But God will be helping us. He will always help us move on and he will bless us. He will not leave us alone. He will not forsake us. His hand will be with us. He will stand up for us because we are faithful to him, because we are not failing him. We are doing what is right. So he too will help us. So he will not leave us alone. He will not forsake us. Now, I myself have lived and experienced this my whole life, that when the enemy has set traps, the Lord tells me, do not worry. I am going to help you. I will give you triumph. And that is so. That is exactly how it's been. This is why nobody should have a reason to feel discouraged. No one should say, I'm turning back. I won't go back to church. I won't read the Bible anymore. I won't pray. Look at what's happening to me. God is not listening. No, God is listening. But God wants you to be strong and courageous and to be steadfast and to follow his ways. 